This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Well, Big Moda passes. Uh, this is very sad. Uh, I, I wasn't super familiar with Big Moda's music, but he's a, he's a rapper in Memphis, and he was shot and killed last night while riding in a car. Now, this is just Memphis seems like i think this is the guy who might have stole shy glizzy's chain that's what i'm hearing but like you know you can't trust anything on the internet anymore but uh obviously if he stole shy glizzy's chain he's in the streets like that he knows black youngster and all them and you know you know it's just a mess bro let's be honest okay so you know it's the street life isn't worth it i i hope more people realize that and it's like Memphis is just a high, like, it's just concentrated with just, just shit, stuff that people are just dying, man. It's just, it's sad to see. I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't know why. I, 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 I wish Young Dolph didn't go back for a turkey drive. I wish he just sent some, some of his people to do it. Meek Mill, people were saying, let go of the braids, bro. It's over. It's making you bald. I would say probably yes. Time to let go of the braids. You know, just just let your hair go out because it does pull your hairline back. I don't. I've never had to have braids. Um, that cultural appropriating braids. So don't worry about that. You know, I stick with my normal. You know, white boy haircut. You know, and it is what it is. <laughs> but uh, man, uh, Tyga. I, I can't wait for Meek Mill and Rick Ross album, though. I got to say that. Like, I can't wait for that. Those guys are pushing each other on the album. You can hear it. I'm looking forward to it. Tyga. He uh, refused to settle outside of court. Um, I would, too, man. He's raised his son to this point. Now, all of a sudden, she wants to be a mother full time. Nah, sorry. You know, it's like you were out here having fun. I was, I was being responsible and having fun at the same time. I'm sorry, baby boo. You know, we can't work it out. So uh, they're dropping this Collie Grove 2 with Lil Wayne and 2 Chains. Now, you know, this is going to be a good album. These are two talented people that are going to push each other. But, you know, people really don't like the comment I said about Lil Wayne and Drake. I would rather have that album than this. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, they, they released like some track listing with Benny the Butcher, Buffalo MC, whoever that is on there. It'll be a good album. But, you know, when is Wayne and Drake going to do an album? Because it's like, you guys have pushed that off for over 10 years. It's like, why? You know, why? Uh, Suge Knight denies that Masterpiece claim that he took $2 million for Snoop Dogg's rights. And bro, I have no idea what's going on with that. Masterpiece slipped up and said he came to visit me in prison, says he a new clip and gave me a couple bucks, $2 million. I would have never took no stuff like that for Snoop. I got a whole list if anybody ever visits me. Uh, you got to be approved. That guy's not on none of it. Blah, 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 blah. So, uh, and I wouldn't, have, uh, he actually signed a deal with Priority Records. So, I don't know. Suge Knight's full of stories now because he's about to do a podcast. That's all I could say. Um, anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll check you guys hopefully in two hours i might have to wait till 10 or 11 because i got to do something real quick but hopefully i'll be back in two hours